All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at a Lenovo M83. We're gonna be talking about BIOS flashing. I'm gonna show you quick how to do it. And then also, we're gonna upgrade this CPU and by flashing the BIOS, we're actually gonna be able to put in a Xeon. That's right, we're going Xeon. And we're going with this one. Let's see, does it come in there? I don't know if it does come in there. It's gonna be E1240 V3. Why are we going with the Xeon? Because they're the best bang for the buck. And you could put this in there. And just like I spoke about in the Dell video, Lenovo don't want you to do this. They don't recommend doing it. Well, it's not that they don't recommend doing it. It's just they don't put that you can do it. So let's talk about this computer real quick. Lenovo M83 comes with the Intel Q85 chipset, supports the fourth gen Intel chipsets, uh, i3 4th, uh, i5 4th gen, i7 4th gen. You can put an i7 4th gen, but expensive. I typically see them for about $100 when the Xeons go for like 40 to 50 bucks better bang for the buck equivalent to an i7 fourth gen so if you have one of these this is definitely the route that you want to go it's going to save you money and you're going to get great performance on it and then later on in another video we'll actually talk about um, upgrading this putting better video card memory all that good stuff and actually turning this into a good computer that we could flip for a good bang for the buck and make a decent gaming computer so let's go back so let's go to windows real quick first thing you want to do is go to lenovo's website over here type in the model that you're looking for m83 and as you can see we have everything we need and if you look there's actually a bios release for june 2020 of this year uh june 29th to be exact so you go ahead and you download it once you download it it's going to download to wherever you have it in our case we have it in our downloads over here and we're going to install it now I've went ahead and uh, flashed the BIOS of it, so I don't think it'll let me override it or do it again, but we'll see if it does. Very simple, straightforward, just next, next, it already exists, I know, uh, whatever. So we already have it installed, and this is the f path that's going to install it to. Uh, SW2s slash flash slash FBJYDEUSA. So once that's installed, you're good to go. So now here's the trick. Now typically like uh, Dell's and HP, you just click an icon during the windows and it flashes and it's very easy and straightforward. Lenovo's a little tricky. Not tricky per se, but it's not as convenient. So let's go back to the run command over here and let's go to CMD. Right click it when it pops up and you want to run CMD as an administrator. And then it's going to put you in your command prompt. Okay. So now if you go to the README, the README kind of gives you what you need to do and tells you about it. And it tells you to extract the file, blah, blah, blah. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is that we're actually going to have to go to the Inca pan and put this in. So it's going to be CD, CW tools, and this is in the README file on their website. So you could definitely have this. And I'll put a link below to this website or Lenovo's website where all this is at. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy and paste it right over here. And the first thing you want to do is if you look over here, it says FBJYXX. XX represents the two digit flash level. What does that mean? That means pretty much it's the name of the file that we're going to use. So we have uh, FB, uh, where is it at? Let's go back over here. Let's go to C. And we're going to go to exactly where the file is SW Tools. You're going to go to your flash. And if you look at it, the name of the file is FBJYDEUSA. Okay? So let's go back over here and let's change the FBJY. And let's delete that where it says XX. And let's put DEUSA. There we go. So as you see, where it says XX, you want to put the name of the folder, which is FBJYDEUSA. So you download the file, install it, and the name of the file, which in this case is FBJYDEUSA, and then where it says XX, you put the DE. So we're back over here. So now if we go back to the instructions, the instruction tells you then input command flash.cmd. So let's go back to over here, and we'll tap flash dot cmd okay so we have that in press enter it's going to ask you buyer's rom is older than or the same blah 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 so in this case i've already updated the bios so we're going to continue anyway just to show you how it goes press yes enter would you like to update the serial number 
I guess if you want to, you can. I'm going to put no. Would you like to update the machine type and model number? No. And then what it's going to do is it's going to start reading. It's going to start flashing, doing all that stuff. And it's going to go through this. And then it's going to boot up into the BIOS. So I'll show you real quick when it boots up into the BIOS. Now, while it's doing this, you're going to see erasing main block. Something to keep in mind is if you notice, my mouse cursor is not working and I'm moving it. That's normal. Don't freak out. It's doing its thing and that's fine. So if you notice that your mouse cur or cursor is not working, just it's going what it's supposed to be doing. So let's keep this going. All right, so the computer reboots, kind of acts like it turns off and then it powers into this, your Lenovo's BIOS setup utility. And it's going to go through this where it just updates and does it. I guess this one's going a little faster. Mine took a little longer the first time I did it, but because I've already done it, it's actually going a lot quicker and smoother. Once this is done and complete, it's going to boot into Windows. The biggest thing to remember is when you're updating these BIOS, do not disconnect the power. You get rid of the power and you lose the power, you could brick your BIOS and that's where it becomes dangerous. So make sure that uh, you don't have surges or you're not going through any type of storm or you have a overloaded uh, power outlet where it could trip your breaker and then you break your BIOS. So as you can see, we're booted right back up and now our BIOS are updated. So let's go ahead, let's switch cameras and let's pop in our Xeon and we'll talk about putting in the Xeon, why you need to update the BIOS and tips and tricks. All right, so we got a computer over here. It's unplugged, it's discharged, always do that as a safety. Once you unplug it, just press the power button, discharges it, just extra protective measures. I mean, do you have to do it? No, but it's recommended and you just don't want to take a chance. I mean, if you're in a dry area, you run into the chance of static discharge and yeah, you don't want to take a chance of firing anything. So we're going to take out our CPU, which you have to take out our fan first, which is easy, four screws. All right, unplug that real quick. Now we're not going to change out the thermal paste because um, we're going to be doing some mods on this computer later and we're going to be doing a separate video on that. So we're going to take out our i3 which you could tell this thermal paste is pretty gross. And we're just gonna pop in our Xeon. All right, now before I do that, I'm gonna clean the CPU heat sink off because I just don't wanna get this thing more dirty than what it needs to be. You're gonna need now, you're gonna need a graphics card. When you go into the Xeon, the Xeon does not have support for integrated graphics so what you're going to have to do is just put a graphics card so i have a gt i have a gt 1030 that we're just going to use just to power it up and show that it works so let me go ahead pop in the graphics card boot this thing up and we'll talk about it all right she's on she's running this is the computer we were using as you can see and a lenovo m83 now is a Xeon E3-1240 V3 clocked at 3.4 gigahertz, four cores, eight threads, and it worked fine. Something to keep in mind, if you pop this in and the computer turns on and turns off once or twice, don't panic, that is normal. What's happening is, is that the motherboard is actually adjusting to the new CPU, accepting it, just kind of telling itself, hey, we got a Xeon, we just need to get you squared away, we're good to go. So just keep that in mind. It's gonna turn on, it's gonna turn off, doesn't mean that it didn't work. Now, do you need to update the BIOS? Yes and no. What you can do is you could just pop it in and see if it works. If it pops it in and it, sees, and it works, then you're good to go. You don't necessarily have to update the BIOS, but I do recommend up, updating the BIOS. I have found that the uh, original BIOS that came with these Lenovo's, like if they've never been flashed or if it's like the first series that were released, the BIOS on it does not have support for the Xeon. Anything after the first revision of these BIOS will support the Xeons. So if you pop in a Xeon and it doesn't work, it's a good chance that you have that early revision of the BIOS, a new BIOS update, as we talked about, how easy it is to do. We'll fix that and we'll resolve that. Now for $60 or $40 to $60, just depends on where you get, them on, get the CPU from, you have a Xeon CPU that is equivalent to a i7 fourth gen for literally more than less than half the price or whatever it comes out to it just depends i've seen like i said i've seen these uh, i7s go from 100 to 150 just depending on who's selling them the fourth gen that is and these xeons are about 30 to 50 dollars sometimes 60 so definitely good price to performance and i definitely recommend it so i just want to do this video showing how easy it is to take this m83 update the bios 
pop in the Xeon, show that it does work, it is compatible, and you're definitely gonna get a great uh, computer upgrade for this. Now, I have seen, I have done the uh, 1225 Xeon, and it has to be the V3 version. Now keep that in mind, it has to be the V3 variant of the Xeons. But I have done the 1225, the 1230, the 1240, and I believe there's a 1280, don't quote me, I might be misquoting this, but I believe there is a 1280 that does work on it. Um, I haven't confirmed it, but I'm sure on the forums, uh, somebody's done it. And if I'm able to confirm it, I'll put a note somewhere around here or something in the comments to confirm the 1280. I know there's a better version of the Xeon from the 1240. I just don't know off the top of my head. So definitely stay tuned for this because we're gonna be taking this ugly-ish computer. We're gonna be doing some mods, popping in a better, power supply graphics cards all that stuff clean this thing up and uh definitely get, add some bling action to it see how much we can flip it and take you guys through the adventure of just modding this and making this a real nice decent uh gaming computer and definitely something to consider so thanks for watching comment down below let me know what you think if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you're not and as always we'll see what we come up with next